The subject of this video is loop integration in Teams. Grab your coffee and let's get started. Let's open Teams and loop. So open loop, go to the waffle, open loop, go to the workspaces. Let's open Teams and go to the channel that you want to work with. To see the components that are available, just click on new post and then click on the loop icon. And there you can see the components. Let's take a look at recent. We want to see what components have been created. We'll need to see the history of the components created and where they've been created because one of our steps is going to be reuse later on in this video. Here you can see all the components. You can see where they've been uh, reused, where they've been accessed. Um, this is very handy information because you can create a component in a team and then you can come back here and then you can reference it and then add it to a new workspace or page. So it's very easy to reuse components across the applications. So let's add some components to one of our channels. Let's go to posts and then we'll create a post and then click on the loop icon. Let's add a bulleted list. Let's enter the title and you can enter some bullets if you like, but it's essentially a bulleted list. And maybe let's add a task list. So hit the, the backslash and let's go with a uh, task list. And let's give the tasks some names. And then we'll enter a person uh, to assign them to. And note on the back end, they will receive an email message or a notification in the loop workspace that they've been assigned tasks. And they'll have a link to be able to um, go to this area of your team's channel. So it's a great way of notifying people, pulling them into your document, your, your, your posts to get them to act, respond to any work that's being assigned, anything that needs to be followed up. Let's add another component. Let's add a progress tracker. You know, on the topic of managing proposals and RFPs, you're herding cats, getting people to write uh, on a timely manner. So let's add the progress tracker. Let's um, add a uh, work task, a, um, an owner, and a status. You can see that this component would, could be reused anywhere for tracking projects, for documents, any kind of deliverable. It's a, it's a great component. And the, the nice thing about it is you can reuse it by going to Recents and adding it to a workspace, which is going to be our next topic. Let's uh, reuse a component that we created in Teams. So go to Loops, go to Recents, and look for the progress tracker that you created. And then once you find it, click on the Add to Workspace link, and then pick the workspace you want to add the tracker to. I'll go back to Loop, go to the Document, and then you'll see the tracker page that's been added. And you can also make updates to it. With Loop, you can reuse the components across your workspaces and pages and teams. It becomes a very useful tool for writing content and looping others into your content using messaging and notifications.